guys, Greg C96 here coming at you with the MHC 2018, I almost said 2017, for January, which is called, I'm going to cheat a little bit, Escape. So uh, in this month's challenge, we are taking a village, moving them into the nether, and creating a nether village, which should be interesting. So let's get going. Create new world. Tag MHC underscore 2018 underscore Jan. We're using the shortened version again, I see. World type should be large biomes, I believe, right? Yep, structures on. Seed is 2465. I almost said 2456. That would have been a different challenge altogether. Done, done. Create the new world. So, today, as of recording, is January 1st, 2018. It's a Monday. I'm behind. We'll see if this video gets up even remotely close to on time. Oh, shoot. Auto jump is on. Controls. Auto jump off. Mm, we're going to turn down that sound. What sound is that? Whatever. We'll just turn the master volume down. Okay, so we have coordinates to go to, which are 128, negative 354. So that's the way I need to go. And we're in a desert, so there's no trees or anything here, so I'm just going to head that direction. Um, so yeah, today it's officially 2018. I think this video will make it up. Um, it probably won't make it up before the end of today. It'll probably be Tuesday the second when this video makes it up. That's a cool little sand arch. We're going to go through that. Um, so yeah, this is... Oh, that's a new particle effect. Falling sand. I've never seen that before. That's really neat. Man, this mouse sensitivity feels ridiculously high. There's the village. It's a desert village that we're using? Oh boy. Shoot, that's unfortunate. I was hoping we were going to get like some... New recipe unlocked. By going into water, I unlocked a recipe for boats. Interesting. Interesting mechanic. Not that I have the materials to make it, but I unlocked the recipe. That's, that's what matters, right? Desert well. Have anyone ever figured out what these are for? I don't think they do anything. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I don't think those do anything. Ooh, a little sand rabbit. Get back here. Interesting that they put paths here in the desert. Sand rabbits all over the place. So if I recall correctly from the announcement video, supposedly these guys have the materials, but not the knowledge of how to get to the nether. Some of these guys are trapped in their houses, which is probably good um, in terms of them surviving. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of sand and try to anyone any villagers that are in houses I'm gonna try to like kind of trap them there for now I think sand breaks fast I forgot how fast sand breaks ah oh, you bastard I'm trying to save you can't you appreciate that I was trying to save you okay so, presumably, presumably, assumedly, yep, there's got to be a smith. Is there no lava? I hear lava. Oh, okay. It just, maybe they changed the graphics so it doesn't stay up as high now. So, presumably, I'm going to find obsidian, flint, iron, and diamonds. I suppose diamonds is not necessary. No flint, though. Interesting. So I'll need gravel. Come on, Windows. What are you doing? That's a weird thing. That was stupid. I couldn't make that, clearly. Okay. So first things first, I want to, like, find a tree. 
I want to head off in a direction to find a tree. Can't tell if that's tree or cactus. Looks like it's cactus. We're just going to pick a direction and go. And that's the direction we're going to pick. We're confident about this direction. Problem is, deserts are like sprawling and massive. I'm starting to not feel as confident about this direction. Oh, there's grass, but it's plains. <laughs> no tree for you. Oh, there we go. I see a tree. I see multiple trees, large trees. That's good. Okay. So, uh, New Year's resolutions for this challenge is I would like Day 3 to exist finally. That would be cool if Day 3 could exist. I would appreciate that very much so. And, yeah, that would be cool. Let me do one of these real quick. My audio looks like it's a little low. I had to reinstall Windows the other day, so my settings are all screwy. That's a different village. I wonder if I can do two villages in the nether. Yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> Two villages in the nether could be a thing. Might be able to do that. We'll find out. That's enough wood right now to at least make a bench. Not even gonna bother with making a wooden axe because we're gonna dig right down now. Because I learned. Really? Come on, game. Get with it. We're gonna get stone right away. They must have changed the speed at which grass grows. That's kinda neat, I guess. That's a lot of dirt. I don't think I've ever had to dig down that deep to find stone. Thank you, Windows. Appreciate that. Why you keep friggin' making my crap not work. So what we're actually going to do here is for a brief second we're going to pause the recording um, so that I can do things and stuff and figure out why my mouse keeps not responding and we'll be right back. And we're back and we're also going to realize I'm an idiot because I didn't have um, that thing, the MHC logo there, uh, that wasn't away from my face cam, but I fixed that in the meantime too. I also realized I'm an idiot because I just paused the game, and I don't remember if that actually pauses progression of, like, daylight in single player or not. So I might have done something real stupid. I mean, that would be nothing new for me. Um, let's keep going, shall we? This is really dark down here, and I don't like that, but it's okay, because I just wanted to get... Oh, shoot, I don't even have enough cobble to make an axe. I literally just wanted to get a stone axe out of that, and I failed at that much. Okay, now we have enough to make a stone axe, so hopefully I can stop this epic failure train from rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Ah, frick, I need sticks first. Okay. Wow, inventory management. That would be good. Okay, I also got quite a bit of iron. So that's probably a decent way to start. Now if I could pick a log to continue to it and break it instead of switching logs, that would be awesome too. That's not really what I meant to do, but it's okay. Break all the logs. I know that's not a log, but there's logs up there that I need to knock to the ground. So we will break the leaves that prevent me from breaking all the logs. And we're collecting all the logs. Break all the logs. So it 
could become dark sooner than planned in this video. Because, like I said, I don't remember if pausing actually changes the flow of time in single player or not. There's an apples up there. There's apples. Hopefully the apples don't despawn before um, the leaves despawn. Or decay, I guess, is what the leaves do, not despawn. Grab my bench back. That's quite a bit in the way of logs. And there's more. And we have saplings, which is kind of the more important part. So while those leaves decay, we're going to really quickly head over there. That the village. We're gonna pillage a village. Just see if they have any materials that are gonna be useful to me. Like I said, maybe we'll take a look into doing a double village in the nether. Or if nothing else, these guys give me a second chance. <laughs> if I screw up. Do they have a blacksmith? They do not have a blacksmith. So the only thing I will get from these guys is food. And they're not really providing much that I don't have over at the other village. However, over there I do see... Oh god, that was almost bad. Let's just get some of this gravel. Because I need flint. Whatever, we'll just collect all that gravel and break it. Oh, and now it's becoming nighttime. So hopefully these villagers will get in their houses. Villagers, get inside. I would like to save you guys, too, but I'm not having any such luck because you guys won't go in the house. Okay, we're going to run back this way. I'm going to wield my axe. It's the best weapon I have at the moment. And see how poorly this goes for us. Ultimately, when I get back, hopefully all of my villagers will be inside and not dead. So I can kind of block them in that way. Quite a few apples. I can make golden apples. Oh, this is going to be fun. Nighttime desert run. Day three is looking like it may not exist. There is the rule that nobody dies on day one. Um... Or day zero, episode one. Same thing. So I gotta hopefully, you know, not break that rule. But I don't I don't really buy into that whole second chances thing. I'm not for that. Oh, that was a creeper. He got really upset. What on earth? Is that a zombie or is that something else? I've never seen that before. That didn't look it looked like a zombie, but it had like a different skin on it. That was weird. There's another one of them. Yeah, it's behaving like a zombie, but it made a different sound effect. Villagers get in houses. Okay, that creeper. Get in houses, dummies. I can't save you if you're not inside. Can't save you if you're not inside of houses. Get inside, dumbass. That spider's up top. I have a big feeling that spider's up top. Damn it. I don't know if I saved all of them. Hopefully they're going to be able to run away and not be stupid. That would be cool.
I'm gonna have to dig out quite a bit of sand, aren't I? Oh, I don't have coal for torches either. Shoot, that's unfortunate. On villagers. Sweet thing with a bit of cheek. How do you stand with clouds? These creepers don't trigger villagers. Or villagers don't trigger creatures. Creepers. Jesus. Words are hard, I know. Villagers do a good job of fending for themselves now. Oh no. That one's get, getting bunced. Oh, that one's getting bunced. Where'd he go? Run away, little man. Shoot, I gotta get out and save them. Oh. Draw the attention away. A lot of them are surviving, though. I mean... Yikes. This is where I get myself into trouble. I'm having flashbacks to Monster Hunter. I'm having serious flashbacks to Monster Hunter. Come on, forget about the villagers. Come chase me. Oh, that's a villager. I've lost one, definitely. I'm very sorry. I've lost two, that's unfortunate. Oh man, okay. Broke my carrot. Okay, I'm just hoping to not get snuck up on by a creeper. Oh, I am for my game to not do that. Okay. We're still making things happen. It's all good. Oh gosh, stop it computer. Not a good thing. Windows is not being very nice. Thank you. Oh shoot. I don't have an axe anymore. But that's okay. We'll make it happen. Since the villagers don't want to save themselves, we're going to have to take the more active defense role. Also trying to not draw in like skeletons and crap from outside. So I don't really want to deal with them. Shoot. See, I should just make an iron sword. Hold that thought, sir. I will come kick your ass in a moment. Oh, I had the bench on me the whole time. making the iron sword and in the process we managed to save at least one other villager uh. whoops wasn't really sprinting there 
Oh gosh. It's a baby walker. Oh no. Oh no. Husk. Husk is the name. And I was so close. It's the end of the day. <sighs> Those are husks. Um, the sun's rising. The sun is rising. I didn't. It, it didn't. It didn't click over to day zero. So because of that. I am inclined to say that since it didn't click over to day zero, or day one yet, that means I, even though the sun is rising, it didn't officially register as day one. It still hasn't registered as day one. I think that's a bit of a delay on Minecraft's part. Um, but hey, that's not my fault. I'm going to use that as a chance to do a do-over. And uh, we'll post this as a failure episode midweekish. Yeah, because it only just flipped over to day one. Um, there, you can see it only just, just flipped over to day one up in the corner there. Um, but anyways, I guess for right now, that means it's going to be thank you guys oh so very much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Comment down below telling me how much of an idiot I am for going in to save that one villager. <laughs> um... And that's about all I think I have to say right now. Head on over to bigboxgamers.com, head on over to gregc96.com, uh, minecrafthardcorechallenge.weebly.com, things of that nature, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.